Yes Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana yes. The situation in Wasingishu is getting more lively and more interesting. Wasingishu residents are now directly implicating William Ruto into the Finland education scam. In this video, I want us to listen to some Wasingishu parents for their remarks are going to inform the basis of our analysis right now. Listen to this. Toka kwa women rep mawapunge wote wanachua hii maneno. Na hiko mahali pesa ilienda. Waja kutuambia hii maneno ya kusema atilini. Hii pesa ilitumika kwa nomination ya UDA. Eh, hiko wenye wale wali angushwa kwa nomination lakini walipatiwa ticket pata ya kupeana pesa hitu. Na hiyo tunajua. Waja, waja kupitia kando na kando na kando. Hii pesa inachulikana. Hata pesa ya mwisho ilitolewa wakati Excellency Ruto alikuwa kwa campaign hapa kwa KVDA kwa kwa Parliament Plaza. Ni maneno bana tanganya sisi sisi bana pesa toa viti yetu alafu wanakula namna hiyo. Wote kutoka women rep mpaka MPs wote wanachua hii maneno. Hata suti mwenyewe alijitokeza akasema waje tupofanya harambe tuwarudishie hii pesa. Tunataka mandako aende alete pesa yetu maana alipeana. Bwana alipeana pesa yetu. Yes. The remarks are self explanatory. Those parents are of a very strong opinion that almost the entire leadership of Wasingishu is involved. Members of parliament, the governor, the senator, and even William Ruto himself. Those who fell in the dominations bribed order and they were given tickets. And they bribed Udam through that fund. That's what I can make of those remarks by those parents. So Wasingishu residents are directly implicating William Samoy Ruto. That the last amount was withdrawn when William Ruto was around that area for the campaigns. I want us to dig deep into this for Kenyans to understand what's going on behind the scenes. Because the situation is now getting a little bit complicated. Complicated and very interesting. And equally lively. Yes. What's actually happening here, ladies and gentlemen? If you look at the Finland educational scam, it's somehow similar to what was also witnessed in El Geo Marakwet. In El Geo Marakwet, the government of El Geo Marakwet acted as a guarantor where parents contributed money and then the, gov the county government of El Geo Marakwet acted as a guarantor. And in El Geo Marakwet, it's believed that some rogue county officials inflated the school fees in Finland. In the case of Wasingishu, Wasingishu government also acted as a guarantor, where parents contributed money and the county government of Wasingishu became the guarantor. The bone of contention here, money was being withdrawn but not being channeled to the universities. It was being withdrawn but being pocketed hmm. by some rogue elements. The money was obviously be being withdrawn by the county government. And from what is happening here, it seems to appear that upon Mandago leaving office, 
His successor B might have continued with the program only that he had not gone deep with the program and then all of a sudden the whole thing exploded. Parents of Wasingishu are demanding over 300 million over 300 million Kenya shillings from Wasingishu County. In our yesterday's analysis, I stated it very clearly here that those parents will make noise but nothing will happen because it's coming out very clearly that this thing might be bigger than even Mandago or the members of parliament. It's far much bigger than that. Very powerful forces are involved and that's why at the end of the day there will be no justice for the poor parents who some sold land and all they had to take their children to Finland. Yes, at the end of the day, no action will be taken. Just as I did indicate in our yesterday's analysis, a leader who is corrupt will always be corrupt. The only problem Kenyans will never learn Science were all over, or rather signs were very clear even before last year's election that order was a no-go zone. And this is something I still repeat in my videos. Look at order, and I'm, when I say that I'm not taking sides, I'm just talking the truth as it is. Look at order party. Look at the leadership from top to bottom, and then you look at Kenya Kwanzaa government. It's a fact, ladies and gentlemen, that very many of those leaders do not pass the test on chapter 6 of our constitution, leadership and integrity. So Kenyans should not expect any integrity in leadership in Kenya Kwanzaa. And that's why the leadership of Wasingishu and even Elgo Marakwit had the, that audacity mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, of actually eating parents' money in broad daylight and they're doing that with a lot of impunity. It all boils down to integrity. And even before I conclude, I'm seeing a very high possibility where if the situation continues, William Ruto will have so many problems in his backyard. This is Wasingishu, his home county, that is actually complaining. And they're even implicating William Ruto into the scam. So it's coming out very clearly that William Ruto, if it's actually true, as those residents are saying, William Ruto does not even care about the welfare of his own people. Hmm. And Amaramba, as a watch one Yumbani, ladies and gentlemen. So those are just some of the consequences of electing corrupt leaders. They have no boundaries. They can't even <laughs> wash their own people. Let me stop it there for today. Just as I did indicate when we were starting, if you are watching us but you have not yet subscribed, subscribe, give this video a like. Any other person who wants to support our forum, contact me through my WhatsApp number. Let's meet in our next analysis. Thank you. God bless you. First of all, we have a meeting with our wazazi wetu. We have meeting at 9 a.m. Number one. Will you ask me? Probably you don't expect me to ask such a question, but these are the people that you elected you for you to serve them. I may seem very foolish in front of you, considering I am very young. 
Guga hajakula kitu tangu asubuhi. Tumeleta wazazi wetu ni wagonjwa, wengine wako na pressure, wengine wako na diabetes, wengine wako na depression. Mr. Chelili nilisoma na watoto wako watatu. Nataka nikuulize swali moja. Unajua dawa ya depression? Do you know any antidepressant? You don't. Nilisoma na Beril B. Ako UK saa hii tukiongea. Nilisoma na Brinard ako Australia. Nilisoma na Bill ako Australia. Tulisoma primary. Mr. Barorot, tukikuwa meeting, ulituambia kuna watoto wako wengine wako maju. Ukasema ati, ukambia wa parents. Parents, siyo watoto wote ni wetu. Siyo wote ni wetu. Ako hapi mtoto wa Barorot hapa asimame? Ako hapi wa B? Ako hapi mtoto wa Mandago? No leader here. Now you have decided we are going to personalize things. Mr. Barolo, tunajua dawa ya depression. Do you know any antidepressant of your mind? Any antidepressant? No. Mr. Mandago, any antidepressant? Do you know any antidepressant? No. Very good. Kuna students hapa wako on antidepressants. I want you to go, just for information sake, muende, mugu gulata dawa ya depression ni nini. Some of us are on antidepressants. 